Okay, this is Bruce Cook, and we're going to be uh, comparing a couple hot sauces uh, made by Heatinus. It's a couple last dab sauces. So tonight we are actually going to be trying this Triple uh, X last dab sauce. So um, I believe this is uh, two steps down from uh, the Experience sauce, which uh, was just released not too long ago. This is supposed to be 91% Pepper X. I did try this a few nights ago. And uh, while I did like the flavor of this stuff, that I was very disappointed with the uh, spice level. And I don't know if it has to do with my tolerance or whatever, but I've seen other, some other chili heads uh, try this out. And uh, to them, it wasn't like outrageously hot or anything, but they said it was pretty spicy. Well, for me, when I tried it, I, I couldn't even give it a 1 out of 10. I mean, I, I did a spoonful of it, and uh, that I was saying it was like a 0.2 out of 1. And like two tenths of a one very disappointing and uh, so I said I thought um, the triple X sauce was spicier because I've had the triple X sauce triple X sauce a couple times in the past and uh, I got it once again this was actually sent to me uh, all of these sauces were were purchased and sent to me by uh, Philip Emery so he sent them to me as a gift and uh, so what we're gonna do tonight is we're gonna test this and because uh, my tolerance right now will be every bit as high as it was when I did that experience sauce, because I'm constantly drowning my all the food all the food I eat with uh, the pepper stuff that I grow. And uh, so if this thing can give me a little more uh, a bigger burn than that experience sauce, then at least to me uh, this is the hotter of the two. So um, we're gonna uh, I'm gonna use my teeth to open this up. <laughs> There we go. There we go. That popped off pretty easy. I'll give you a, one nice little close up look at this. It's that last step, uh, triple X. So, I don't know. Uh, maybe that's. I remember I complained about the experience sauce. Um, when I went to open it, I seen a tear up at the cap level, and the uh, sauce only went all the way up to just below the uh, shrink wrap. This is like that too, so I guess maybe that's the way they come. I mean, I was just so suspicious about, you know, the things I uh, observed opening up that experience uh, sauce. Uh, and in the end, you know, find, seeing that the, uh, the viscosity of the, uh, the sauce, the liquid, was more runny. Where in everybody else's videos, it was thicker. I don't know why that was, but between that and then hardly getting any spice from it at all, just kind of got me suspicious. So, anyways, we're going to be doing a spoon of this uh, triple X sauce. Well, their shake. And this was actually my favorite of all the uh, last dab sauces. I love the flavor on this stuff. Ah, I love that. Man, it smells so good. Okay, yep. I want to make sure I can uh, here we'll get the pour. I don't know, maybe it's just because it's warm in my room. That's why I'm going to put a little bit more. That ain't going to hurt us. <laughs> all right. Okay, let me uh, get this bottle capped. I just don't want to dump it. I don't want this wasted. I, I really like this stuff. So, and I'll have another, uh, well, the other couple sauces that are in here. I got, uh, what is this? Here, I'll, I'll pull them out after I do my spoonful. So anyways, this is the last day of uh, triple X sauce going in. Mmm, I love it. I mean, that's something uh, you would think would taste so good, like on a bean burrito or something. Just so, so good. I, mean, yeah, I get the, uh, I think that's the one with the mustard in it. Oh gosh, I'm not going to be able to read those ingredients. Oh, I see caution on here. Yeah, I can't read it. I think, I think that's the ingredients on there. Um. Um. I'm starting to lean towards uh, the fact, the reason why I wasn't getting any, hardly any spice with the experience sauce. My tolerance must be, uh, it's really high right now. Because it's exactly the same with the Triple uh, X. I'm getting a tiny bit of tingling in my mouth. I'm feeling a little bit of tingling on the uh, underside sides of my tongue. Uh, if I have to get a rating, I'll, I can give that right now like a 0. .4 of a 1 out of 10. 
just because that little bit of feeling on the other side of my uh, tongue on the sides, I'm not going to call it a burn. It's a tingle. It's a semi-intense tingle. And uh, I'm feeling that more than anything I felt from that Pepper X sauce. Or the experience sauce. Yeah, my, to my tolerance has got to be really high. If, if you've seen my uh, last video with the hot sauce, I know it's like a 25-minute video. Uh, I'm not sure. You know, I would I would watch the whole thing if it was somebody else's. I don't know. But uh, you've seen my uh, pepper flakes that I made. It's a mix of all of my peppers. When they were green on the plants, I picked them off and I tore my plants down. And uh, just combined. I dehydrated all the uh, green peppers and dehydrated them and mixed them together and crushed them into pepper flakes. And I use quite a bit of that in my uh, food, especially my side dishes. So, yeah, between that and my hot sauces, it's, it's probably got my tolerance so high that uh, it's hard to feel these sauces. But right now, well, with the assistance of my fan that's right next to me blowing at me when I open my mouth to talk, you know, the air blowing in, uh, you know, kind of intensifies things. I can give it a 0.5 out of 1 out of 10. To me, right now, it's affecting me more than that uh, experience sauce. As a matter of fact, you know what? Just for the fun of it, we'll do it. <laughs> we'll do a spoonful of it. I got food in my stomach. I had a little, a little bit of my supper, so I, my stomach should be fine. All right, and this is the. Uh, I'm gonna spill it. Okay, that's the uh, last time experience sauce going in. Definitely very different flavor. Let's see if it intensifies it at all. But even both, they both got their own flavor. Um, I'd say both these sauces uh, taste like something that'd be really, really good on Mexican food. Burritos, tacos. Trying to think if, uh, if I'm feeling anything go up. I am feeling a new sensation of tingling on the uh, top middle, front middle of my tongue. I wasn't getting that with the uh, Triple X. Uh, I can't say that it's it's going up any any higher than where I was at with the Triple X sauce. And I gotta say that uh, Experience sauce was more runny too. Of course, uh, that triple X is one of the, you know, thicker of the uh, last dab sauces. But you know, from other what I've seen in other people's videos, that experience sauce is supposed to be uh, more thick, not like really runny. I remember the Apollo sauce being really runny. I will say now, uh, now that I did that experience sauce, I am salivating quite a bit. I keep on having to swallow my saliva. <laughs> so, uh. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I was almost thinking of uh, doing a spoonful of those other two uh, hot hot one sauces, but I want to save those for uh, their own you know individual video. I just want to keep the title of this video short. You know, the triple X versus experience. So I tell you what, though, a lot of the sauces that I made, uh, if I did a spoonful of those, would be and those are forty percent pepper, and there's a range of uh, like. 15 different uh, super hot pepper plants that I grew. You know, uh, a, a heat range from between the purple ghost peppers. They're not even really super hot, so we'll just uh, skip to it's the red ghost peppers. All the way up to the chocolate prima tallies and a whole bunch in between. I think just about every one of those, if I did a spoonful, would be spicier than what I just tasted. But then again, I don't know. Because my tolerance is, uh, I guess it, it is uh, pretty high right now. Uh, given that I'm not feeling these sauces hardly at all. So, I got a delightful little tingle in my mouth. So, I mean, I, I have enjoyed this experience sauce. Here, I'm going to try to knock it down. I have used this in, I don't know if it was one or... It was one of my meals. I remember I put a bunch of it in my supper. And usually I just eat a little bit of my supper. Then put it away and then uh, eat the leftovers later. And I remember uh, using this twice. Look at how low that bottle is. 
I mean, uh, besides the two spoonfuls I've done out of this, you know, my first video just now. So, now I got a burp. <laughs> so it tells you I, I do enjoy this. And, I mean, this is a very delicious sauce. Um, I don't know. Oh, I brought that. I did bring my experience sauce to uh, work. Uh, this, what was it, past Friday? No, Tuesday. I mean, yeah, it's got my nose running. And uh, I had my coworker just, uh, I, I took the cap off of it and I had my coworker just touch it with the tip of his finger. A little, little tiny bit that was stuck to the top side, inside of the cap. And it, that lit him up. I wanted, I was so skeptical about the heat, uh, the spiciness from it, that I wanted to see what a normal, how a normal, normal person would react. And he just barely touched it, not even a whole drop's worth. And it had his uh, mouth uh, lit up, and he had to take a drink out of our cooler. You know, at the paintball shop I work at. And uh, he said it was pretty hot. So I guess, I know I said it like a hundred times already. I guess it's, uh, just my tolerance is pretty high right now. But anyways, there you have it. And that was the uh, Last Dab Triple X versus the Last Dab Experience Sauce. So, to me, they, uh... I mean, I did one after another, and uh, I, I just, the heat didn't go up anymore with the experience sauce. All I did was uh, feel a little bit of tingling in a different spot on my tongue that I didn't get with the Triple uh, X. But there you have it. So there's my comparison. Not sure which one to say is spicier. Um, they're both really delicious sauces. The Triple X sauce is still my favorite uh, last dab sauce when it comes to flavor. So, but anyways, hope you all enjoyed that video, and I will see you on the next one.